You know what type of phone I really don't like? It's like the one I have. The ones where they're just, it's like an average flip phone, but it's harder to like text on these things. It takes me like so, so like the, my old one before this did that, and the one before that actually had like a light like, um, mini keyboard and I love that phone, but I lost it. And then my old one before this one I lost, but that's an interesting story. So in July, I went to Hershey Park with a couple of my friends, and there was this new roller coaster that's been out for like a year now, and it was called the Sky Rush, and it's like a really high intense roller coaster. Like, take anything that is not attached to you, because that thing will fly off the roller coaster. So I'm just sitting there, I'm getting on, and my uh, the whole day my phone was in my book, my little bag, and I put it in my uh, basketball pocket pants because I was waiting for a call from my mom, and I forgot that I had put it in there. And like I really wasn't just thinking about it because I really I got on the roller coaster and the guy was like, You want me to take your glasses? And I was like, oh My god, yeah, yeah, it just was not in it. Cause we were planning on leaving because of the rain just started raining a little, but then they opened up the roller coasters again. So we were like, Oh, let's do that one because we haven't been on it. Let's do it before we leave, was the park was gonna close soon. So yeah, I just was out of it. I totally forgot my the phone was in my pocket. So uh, then the, we're on the ride and I could just feel I felt it slip out of my pocket hit my hand and just flow, just fly away into the darkness. And yeah, I was like, oh my God, really? He was like, no, my phone. <sighs> so then like the ride is ending, we're sitting on there and it's pulling in and we're talking about how fun the ride was. And we were like, oh yeah, it was really great. And I was like, you know what? That ride was awesome. It was like terrifyingly awesome. But it was like, too bad I lost my phone. I'm like, really? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I really did. I lost my phone. And I was like, check your bags. No, no. I know they're not there. Like the phone is gone. I felt it leave the pop my pocket. So yeah. Needless to say, uh, the next day I actually went to Walmart and got another phone because that phone was like a straight talk prepaid cell phone. So I just got one, and this one's the cheapest one. I would have gotten a nicer one if I had the money, but I had to use my money for something else. And I'm lucky I had a job where I had the money in my pocket. And I just could spend less than a hundred dollars to get a new phone and a car for the minutes and everything but you know I kind of grew attached to my last phone even though it was like it was a sliding phone you push it it slides up and it doesn't have a keyboard and whatever but I guess you just get attached to some things after you have them for a while but it was time to get a new one anyway because uh, it was getting old and the end button wasn't working as well with this phone you know I don't really like as much but I guess as time goes by you just get used to it I don't like the font of, of the, the on the screen and I don't like the pictures or the sounds they have of like ringtones and whatever and but well, this one's heavier but you know I really just want to like I don't need a super fancy phone you know like teens and young people these days are so attached to their phones I feel like if someone if that happened to them losing their phone would be like devastating you know they always have their phones attached to their hand it's always in their pocket they whip it out every two minutes texting trying to check in their Facebook or Twitter or whatever they whatever the heck they're doing I don't know because I'm not like that I, I, all I need for my phone as long as I can text and make calls I am happy with the phone like that you know what, I don't mind simple phones like these, but I just want one with keyboard, so when I text, it's much easier, it's faster, you know. You know, I wouldn't mind a phone with like a touch screen thing, because they have those for straight talk, and if I had more money, I would have bought one. But I don't need a fancy phone that you go on your internet and do all this other stuff. I mean, phones these days, can you even really call them that? Because of what they can really do. So yeah, that was my interesting story of how I lost my old phone, and now I have this new phone. Hopefully my next cell phone will be a really nice one, but just have bare essentials. So that is it for now, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later.